Good morning, it's Tuesday the 27th of April. Over these last months and during lockdown, many of us have had to let our hair grow longer and get used to a different style. I want to suggest that we might do the same with our gardens and join, with, join in with a campaign that's called No Mow May. This is coordinated by the organisation Plant Life, who are trying to encourage a wider variety of pollen producing flowers in our gardens, which in turn will help support insect populations. This morning, I'm in a wildflower meadow in Skipton, Gore Flat Meadow above Airville Park. During lockdown, this has been a favourite place for us to come and walk. And by the height of summer, it's a wonderful place full of flowers and insects. On a single day in the summer, one acre of wildflower meadow can contain three million flowers, producing one kilogram of nectar sugar, enough to support 96,000 honeybees each day. However, since the 1930s, we've lost nearly seven and a half million acres of flower-rich meadows and pastures, and now just 1% of our countryside provides a floral feast for pollinators. This means that the 15 million gardens in Britain are becoming increasingly important as potential sources of nectar. So No Mow May is encouraging us to leave our lawns unmowed for the month of May. Then at the end of the month, they'd like us to do a survey and count how many different flowering species there are in our grass. This will help to show the difference it could be, that could be made if we were a bit less concerned about bowling green stripes and more concerned about the potential within our lawns. There's more information about this on the Plant Life website. Of course, as a gardener, this is a hard thing to do. I'm used to keeping things tidy and keeping the lawn closely cut. However, over the last years, I'm having to learn that if I'm to encourage wildlife and provide places for insects, I need to be less concerned about keeping things pristine and more concerned about providing the right habitats. So I'm going to give it a go and see what happens. I'll try and delight in the daisies and dandelions and make friends with the moss. In Genesis, as part of the story of creation, Adam and Eve are called to rule over creation. So often, this has been seen as a way in which humanity had power over the earth and has led to the earth and its resources being exploited. It seems to me that a better way to look at that Genesis story is in terms of us being given a responsibility. We're being asked to care for this wonderful gift that we call creation, this gift of God. The responsibility is becoming greater all the time as we see the effect that humanity is having on this wonderful earth on which we live and on which we depend. We're living in a climate crisis and I believe it's part of our Christian responsibility to do what we can to make a positive difference. There are many things we can do and no mo may is just one of them. However, for once, doing nothing can have a positive impact and what could be better than that? Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for our wonderful creation. Help us to remember our responsibility to nurture this planet and do what we can to protect it. Show us what changes we need to make in order to promote sustainability. May we enjoy all that you have blessed us with and live in appreciation. Go well today. Amen.